Rise and Shine with Rich and Jeremy. Your cold shower power hours on Wings 94.3. Wings 94.3, Auburn Opelag is home for your classic hits. Rich and Jeremy here with you. Power hour. Yeah, it is. It's uh, 34 minutes after 7 o'clock. Been a good show so far, I think. You know it. Yeah. I've been here. I've been tapping that sleep deprivation for all it's worth. Got maybe two hours last night, and I'm just uh, riding the wave. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Well, it, you know, new baby and all. You got to. It's part of the game. Uh, we put out on uh, Twitter, uh, you could call in to the Charter Bank Hotline, 321-9001, if you'd like to call in, if you want to uh, talk about anything, uh, parental issues or parenting stuff, uh, favorite Bible verses, uh, I politics. think we got to call now. Oh. Uh, hello, this is the Rich and Jeremy Show. You are on the air. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, gentlemen? I so had a feeling. I so hoped it was you. Newt, how is it going? Well, I'm very excited to be here with you, uh, gentlemen. On the telephone this morning, I, Jeremy, I called to say congratulations to you. Well, for, uh, you mean for the baby? But, well, yes, of course. You're a father again, and that's a, a very, very big deal to finally be a real dad now that you have a boy <laughs> uh, so well thanks yeah you're one of those i somehow i knew it thank you no thanks a bunch are you um have you ever fathered a, a child well, well no i i have adopted goats in the past <laughs> and I, I i am not a biological father to my knowledge no <laughs> to your knowledge so there is a possibility but well, not if my understanding of biology is correct <laughs> No, technically, not really. <laughs> not really. Uh, so you would, uh, gay, you're saying you and Gay Nail don't really, um, you haven't uh, reached certain levels of, uh, um, you know what I'm talking about, Nate. We have not had relations. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what, okay. <laughs> well, good, good. Well, I mean, you know, maybe one day. Um, here's I, I, I see our relationship is is more of a spiritual one. <laughs> Jeremy, where we support and care for one another in various ways and means, which we find very important and fulfilling in its own way. <laughs> um, are you? Uh, I've, I've been. You know, we've had a few people ask uh, about your the the exact nature of your relationship with Gay Nell. I didn't know. Uh, you know, I, I didn't think y'all were married, but I didn't know if it was some sort of common law situation uh, or if it was just, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, or just like a neighbor thing. But I, I have long admired and and uh, uh, been very fond of Gay Nell. Uh, she is the whole reason that I left my home of Chunky, Mississippi, to move to Macomb <laughs> because uh, Gay Nell lives here in Macomb. <laughs> It's very rare that we are able to get back to my first place uh, in Chunky, but Chunky, yeah, yes, Chunky. It's a, it's a bedroom community of Meridian, Mississippi. It's, it is in Newton County, uh, the county uh, that I was named after. <laughs> Although, to be fair, my parents did not name me Newton; they just named me Newt. Yeah. My father had a speech impediment. <laughs> Uh, chunky so near meridian you know i uh as a as a as a kid i would go on uh trips with my grandparents uh business trips and they would stop uh in meridian there was this place uh this german restaurant i'm not sure how this bears on what i'm about to say uh named weidman's uh and they would uh they made their own peanut butter um and they had, had it on the tables like it was just butter for your crackers have you ever been there um or anything what's your favorite restaurant around there well, I, I have uh, been by the establishment that you pick up. They would not let me in. Uh, <laughs> they required uh, shoes and a shirt to receive service, apparently. <laughs> they did not mind if I got some of the older used peanut butter out of the dumpster in the back. <laughs> so you did? So was it? I mean, <laughs> They have a very large rat population that abides by the dumpster. So I try not to go by there. Too much. It's been quite a while since I have been to the big city of Meridian. Uh, we like to stay close to home, Chunky. It's uh, 
it's a small community, but it's very, very close. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's a little bit too close, which is <laughs> why I prefer now to live closer to Gaynell in Macomb, Mississippi. Well, uh, did you? <laughs> so, so she is that where she was? I mean, she's from Macomb originally, or, or is she? A, did she come from somewhere else? Gaynell has been a bit mysterious about her past, <laughs> and as I do not want to anger her. I have not pressed the issue. <laughs> but does she have like a southern accent? I mean, like you, you are, you know, are, are you, <laughs> she's not a Yankee or anything. Her accent is sweet as butter. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is as if it were lifting lilies <laughs> drifting across honey strewn streets. Well, you know, have y'all ever. I think I read that in the Bible. <laughs> I'm not positive. Do you have, we've been talking about Bible verses. Is there a favorite book or story or verse or anything, a story that just has always uh, meant something to you? In all fairness, it could have been a Jackie Collins book <laughs> that I found in the bus station now that I think about it. Yeah. Well, you know, people, a lot of people have made that mistake. Oh, God. Um, They're both very large books with with a large amount of print. Have, have y'all have y'all ever talked about um you know i mean you know at this stage in the relationship i mean are there are any future plans or we just kind of got a nice status quo we're uh riding out it is it has taken me quite some time to gain uh, gay nails trust <laughs> and I, I would not say affection just yet uh, i'm in the process <laughs> of wooing her and as you know jeremy that can take a, a number of decades time. <laughs> but i feel as if i am making progress well, well good good will we uh we wish you luck in that and maybe one day you know you can uh father you know sire a brood uh, of your own and uh that'd be hope, uh, hope springs eternal <laughs> well thanks for calling in newt uh it's always a pleasure and uh have a good rest of your week well i just wanted to say congratulations once again and, and i hope that you're Your masculine child is a strong masculine (laughs) child. Thank you very much. More Rich and Jeremy next on Wings 94.3.